turning youth into. Uh, and this is the other. Thing. Can I just keep going? Because you're Absolutely. gonna may have to edit this out anyway. Let's roll. This is what happens when we commodify religion, and when churches get into this unvirtuous cycle about money and seats and uh, how to um, you know maintain budgets, right? Uh, if I don't get a young, good-looking, right, guitar-playing guy, right, by the way, it's also a very, very, um, the worst leading world is not particularly friendly toward women either. That's a whole other issue. We need more women worship leaders. Um, there's just not enough of them. Here's the problem that a senior pastor or a team can face, a pastoral team can face. We got a thousand seats. And there's a church down the road. They got a thousand seats. They got contemporary worship. We've got contemporary worship. They got a good looking 22 year old down there. Right? And uh, so I've got to start competing with that. Now, if I don't fill my seats, I can't pay my team. If I can't pay my team, I got to start letting them go. People start going, right? It's just like a corporate mindset. This is like the way American or multinational corporations start thinking. Um, so I've got to. I'm in the I'm in the market, and I've got to be you know, have a market driven mindset that says the competition is doing X. I have to do X in order to stay in the game. Do you see where all this leads? I can't maintain buildings. I can't. So uh, what happens? Um, we end up with a commodified, world imitating church. That's all.